One of the questions that I'm often asked on the channel is why do players, including top players, prefer to use side when they're playing an angled pot? It's an interesting question, really. Let me first of all say that not all good players do that, right? But it's certainly a fact that most good players do prefer to use an element of side. Now, I want to get away totally from how we position the cue ball after contact with the object ball. Now, that's a different thing altogether. You know, they may use side screw or whatever. What I'm looking at is purely potting the ball. We're not interested in positioning the cue ball on this particular scenario. So just to show you what we've set up here, I've got a camera with Phil behind recording me. We've got another camera recording what is happening to the object ball. And we've got a laser light fixed, which you can clearly see if I do this with the cue cam. From there, you can see the line exposed by the laser light. All right. So I've got to make reference coming back to that uh, ghost ball theory that we've talked about in other videos. I want to make reference to that while I'm explaining the use of side and why they use side. So first and foremost, I'm going to play a shot using the ghost ball method. So we've got two balls touching, perfectly lined up for the pocket. All right, and the laser light will indicate that. Now if I hit that red full in the face, then the red will go in that direction, but to some degree it will, there'll be a squeeze effect and the black will go with it. And you'll find that it'll come this side of the laser light. So here, just a normal little, steady little shot, full ball on the red. And you see that the black has come this side of the laser light and I've missed the pot. That's because of the squeeze effect of the red ball onto the black. So let's put the balls back in that same position. Again, touching. And again, lined up for the pocket. Now this time, I'm going to have to use my cameraman, Phil, to remove the red when I ask him to. And you'll find that I'm still aiming the same. I'm not going to cheat in any way, shape or form. I'm going to aim full ball on the red. Phil, I'm going to ask Phil to remove the red and I'm going to try and pot the black. And you'll find that it will go again this side of the laser light. But it was where, when the red was there, we'll say the squeeze effect took it to this trajectory. You'll find that there's still a slight squeeze effect, but it will be less. OK. OK, Phil, when I'm ready, if you can remove the red ball without moving the black, please. OK, go. And you see, we've still got the squeeze effect. Very slightly, not as much as the other one, but certainly it is still there. So now we can dispense with this and we come back to why the good player uses side. And again, I reiterate, reiterate not every player, not every good player uses side. Uh, but what the player who uses side will have to do is educate the eyesight and the brain to hit the ball a little bit thinner. So now I'm playing this shot with side, which in this case will be left-hand side. It's using the cue cam just to show you where I'm hitting it. So there's centre ball, right? And we know that that, if I aim for the pocket, will hit the near jaw. But with the left-hand side, I'll have the squeeze effect knocking it towards the pocket and the right hand jaw. So here we go, a little bit of left hand side on the cue ball. Let's see what happens. So there you see, 
the left hand side I've even hit the far jaw so what has happened there is I've got the ball on the spot because I've put in this case which is left hand side that is spinning that way and then because of friction what has happened I have kicked the, the black ball that way so I've come on the line or indeed that side of the line okay now it takes a little bit of practice of course it does but equally that is one of the reasons if not the only reason why good players will use that side it's what is commonly known as uh, helping side now if we go the reverse of that one of the hardest shots in the book is now to play that shot with right hand side right and no player you know really likes that shot so I'm playing with right hand side this time okay and it is really a quite a tricky little shot no player likes it but obviously the good players will practice it and they know how to make the allowance so here with right hand side the ball gets squeezed the other way and we start to hit the near jaw so allowances have to be made now that scenario happens all over the table with angled shots please remember we're not looking at positioning the cue ball we're just on about potting the ball and it's amazing how many players use help inside when they when they want to achieve that all right myself included to be honest uh, that does not mean you can't train yourself to play that same shot that same angle shot with outside of course you can it just means that you have to aim possibly a little thinner so whichever method you choose it requires a lot of practice and there'll be a lot of vari variables because of the nap of the cloth the cue you use the balls whether they're new or, or old all those scenarios come into effect and the only way you can sort of determine which is best for you right is to get lots and lots of practice so remember the old saying good luck with that practice